Serpent Temple. I'm here with Steve from Gravitation. Hello, how are you doing? I said that right, right? Yes. Good. All right, I normally do side card readings. Um, we can, I, I normally do side card readings, so it's like um, it's like tarot, but not tarot. It's like therapy tarot, but without the mysticism. Right. Um, but today, like, we can do a really quick one. I can give you one card to pull. Okay. Do you want to do that? You want to yeah, try it? Sure, yeah. So you can choose between the past, present, and the future. Which would you rather know about? Uh, we'll go for the future. Okay. So. Too much in the past. Don't want to feel like that. <laughs> Don't bring up the past. Yeah. Okay. So here's the deck. Pull one card from there. Just one. Just one. Puzzle. puzzle. That's a good card. That's like the labyrinth card. I'm going to read you the puzzle. Okay. Number 36. Two doors set deep in a mysterious wood face the inquirer. They are guarded by a crown statue who holds the key. Which door to choose? A card full of puzzling implications in R. <laughs> Lives. We come face to face occasionally with situations where we are forced to make an agonizing choice. There is often no clue given as to which course to take. The card reflects such a situation. Hmm. Probably choose the, um, what was the second one? The agonizing choice, is it? Sometimes life gives you an agonizing choice and you don't know which course to take. Yeah, maybe that one. Yeah, have fun. Because yeah. um, obviously sometimes you're faced with a situation you don't know what to do and I think it reflects on how you deal with the situation obviously you've got to weigh up each outcome and choose the best the best option you know do you find that with like um because we were talking to other bands earlier apparently a lot of band work is like a lot of people management so do you find that with like having to sort of harry the guys around getting in and out on time or is it more of a like a artistic thing that you're um yeah, I mean, because, like, obviously when you play shows or, I mean, yeah, anything to do with the band, because obviously you've all got to work together and you've got to make compromises, you got to, I don't know, it's like, for instance, like, if a show gets offered, if everyone's available, um, if one person is, is unable to do the show, it's like, well, do we do it or do we get someone else to fill in for them? Or, like, we've done that a couple of occasions this year. So, like, we had a show in Prague. Our bass player couldn't make it, so we had uh, my bass player from my other band fill in. And, Which band is that? Uh, Exhumation. Um, and then, again, with um, we played... Uh, in fact, did we play the same uh, Doom line? We played Doom Lines together. Yeah. You guys were so good. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, again, our vocalist, um, the guy who was here tonight, he couldn't make it. Yeah. So the vocalist for Exhumation filled in. No way. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's Exhumation Creation? Yeah, yeah. Preppy, preppy-mation. You know? Preppy-humation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's very incestuous. I like <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's like, you know, times like that, you think, do we carry on with the sh- Do we go with the show or do we get someone else in or do we say no to it at all? So, and then obviously there's like, when it comes to writing, you know, we'll write a riff because it's like a couple of guys will be like, I don't like that. And there's like, well, I really like that. Uh, yeah, we actually had that on the album that we've just released. We had a section that like me and the bass player really, really liked. Everyone else hated it and we had to get rid of it. Oh. Basically, uh, it was a, um, how was it? Uh, the, can't remember what the song is now, but it's like uh, the rhythm was like for like shake, shake, shake. Yeah, uh, we wrote a riff in that style, and it like completely stands out from the whole song. It's just pure chaos, the song, and then this one section is just dead mellow and nice. I love that. And then it goes right back into chaos, yeah. and the other guys hated it, and they just, we all beat, they all vetoed it, and we had to take it out. Got it. Yeah, and me, me and the bass player they were very, very unhappy about this. Do you have that with exclamation as well? Is it the same kind of deal, or do you have a more top-down approach with the writing there? We have similar stuff like that. I mean, but I think we all we're all on the same we're all on the same uh, on the same page when it comes to writing. As long as it's fast, brutal, heavy, and technical as well, then we go for that. So, yeah. 
And we're at your merch table today. Yes. We've got some lovely merch here. Talk us through your designs. Sorry? Talk us through your designs. Um, so this is our official lyric t-shirt. It's very, uh, <laughs> very intricate. <laughs> No, they are official lyrics. Uh, For people listening, it goes dwee wibbly dwee wobbly snurgy 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 dwee dwee bree bree. Exactly, it, it's it's very deep and meaningful, you know, uh, and that's what we aim for, you know. Uh, this is actually the design for our album cover, our latest album. Uh, absolute stupidity of the title. There you go, monstrous eruption of impetuous preposterosity. Who designed that cover? Uh, you know what? I actually can't remember the artist. <laughs> shout out! Yeah, shout out to whoever it was. <laughs> but uh, and then we have our drop that rectum uh, shirt, which you can see the backdrop for it as well. This is for uh, our song title, uh, Methanated Propulsion. No, that's the. I can't even remember the title. I can't remember my own song titles. <laughs> yeah, it's basically to do with the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do it, Bubs. Basically to, to, to do with flatulence, anyway. Oh, cool. <laughs> so we all do it. Levitation. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Well, it was a chaotic interview. And there was a yeah. bit of shake, shake, shake in there, too. Yeah, maybe one day. Maybe know. just one shake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll definitely do a longer one with you guys at some point. But it was just really nice to get to say hello. Oh, yeah. so, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our chaotic interview. Yep. Peace. Thank you very much.